Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. What's in the pan over there is some boneless uh, pork steak. They're pre-seasoned from the store. They came out of that box that I bought of the, uh, what's really in a $20 box. But the store star of this show is going to be this can of cream of bacon. I've tasted it and I'm telling y'all, it really has a good, uh, smoky bacon flavor. Just like you use the can of cream of mushroom soup and added the bacon bits to it. All right, now let's get on to the star of this show real quick. Well, wait a minute, I have to flip these. I have four, so I need these to brown. Looking good. Looking good. Looking good. All right. I'll bring these to the top of the show. Okay, so we're going to add, I'm going to add the star of the show. Hopefully, it'll come out. Without too much of being a pain in the butt. coming out of this. First time I've ever seen this. Again, thank you, Kay Anna B, for introducing me to this product. Get out of there. It's coming out. Somebody that hates making messes, I'm making a hell of a one. All right, let me sit over there. All right. To that, I'm going to add a cup and a half of water. I've learned through the years that you uh, do in the measurements <coughs> that I've seen online, uh, you get dried out uh, rice when you do it, as per, as they say. All right, I need to uh, take your eyes off the back for a minute. Because I gotta get back over here. Do this. You know what this is gonna out. We're gonna set aside. There we go. Get this big dog daddy up in there. Get it brown. I'm gonna get back over here. Yeah, I'm being all professional here today. Alright, I got that good whisked up. I'm going to add pepper. I'm going to add salt. Say about a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of black pepper. I'm going to whisk that real quick. I'm going to add three quarters of a cup of rice. My parboiled rice. I know y'all get sick of hearing it, but that's the only time I use. Uh, and I'm going to remove the whisk for a moment. I'm going to add one stalk of diced celery. See how small that is? And one small diced onion. All right, I gotta put that pork chop. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It's all the all kind of issues over here. Okay. <laughs> Gonna give that a good stir. Mm. Okay, I'm going to transfer fur this to my pan and place pork chops on top and I will pork steaks on top and I'll be right back. Okay, I got the mixture in my baking pan. And I'm going to add my pork steaks in here. Now I might have to do a little finagling to get all of them in there. They go in. I think I'm going to move this one. Come on, this won't start no mess and it won't be no. Alright, let's put this one here. There we go. And then this one right here. Alright, it looks like we're good to go. Okay, what you, the next time you see this dish, I'm going to, it's going to be coming out of it because I'm fixing to cover it with foil. And I'm going to wrap it from the bottom side up because these handles, you can never get 
a good seal on a uh, foil on these type of uh, baking dishes. So I'm coming from the bottom up and rolling it around. That way it's completely sealed. And the next time you see this dish, it will be completely cooked and ready to show you. Hey y'all, I decided I would come back because I might have some uh, begin, uh, beginner cooks out there who want to know what I'm talking about when I say putting foil from the bottom up. You see, see it? crumble this down and then I fold it in the corners good and I pinch it down just like that to give it a good seal. I don't care how many times you take a sheet of foil over this type of pan and put it, it does not seal completely and you lose a lot of your moisture and therefore you have dried out products. So I just thought I'd bring y'all back uh, for my little newbies, for my beginner cookers. Okay, yo, it's out of the oven. Uh, it was baked at 375 degrees. Um, I cooked it for an hour. I checked it. The pork was still tough. The rice was still hard, so I put it back in there and we're fixing to see what it looks like after a total time of an hour and 45 minutes. Yeah, well that looks a whole lot better than that first time did. Alright, check that rice. Okay, that's okay, it's still creamy. Let's see. Let check the rice. Tender. Mm. Okay, there's the pork meat. Scrape this back a little bit. And there's the pork, it's fully cooked. Well. Mm. Okay, the pork steaks are tender and they are juicy. So I'm suggesting if you uh, cook this, I just go ahead and go do the uh, hour and 45 minutes because I did act, I add extra liquid as y'all saw. I also added uh, celery and onion and that takes time to cook. And those pork steaks were not exactly uh, thin. Uh, pretty good size right there. That's not those little paper thin ones that used to get me. So, this is it. Um, personally, I'm probably uh, baking it this way. Uh, I'm not doing it like that again. Uh, if I ever do it again, I'm gonna do it in a crock pot. I, I've never liked any of these oven baked casseroles. Uh, with rice using a soup product in it. I've had better luck in a, in a, a pot pot, but I wanted to get this done faster, you know, because I really wanted to taste that, uh, that cream of bacon soup. And you can taste the cream of bacon soup in there. It does have a strong bacon flavor. And I can see other things being cooked with that soup. This is nothing etiquette. I'm out. Uh, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and by all means, leave comments. Thank you for watching, and y'all have a great day.